So we've drilled in a threaded rod and drilled holes on the top and we're going to epoxy that in. A little five minute epoxy and then we're going to uh, have to sand and 
redo that that joint just a bit, but that's expected. Nice cedar stick. Been drying for a bit, a little bit bigger than we need, but nice and straight. Let's start carving this down, get it down to size. So what we're going to do is move on to the finishing. What I want to do is finish the stick and the carving, which all assembled here. Let's take that a look. Horns have been put on. The pin in the back here will match a hole to the top here. But I want to do it separately because I want to see what the stain does to all these different woods. This is hard uh, sugar maple. Uh, this is butternut. For the horns and the stick itself is a very lightweight um, cedar so they're all going to be a different color and I want to make sure that uh, I want to keep the skull lighter than the horn so I may want to do a treatment afterwards so what we're going to do is move on to teak oil just put it in a separate cup I have a little piece of uh, t-shirt our standard operating procedure for finishes. Let's see what this cedar turns. Nice beautiful dark color. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. Look at the contrast there of all the different colors. That's just fantastic. So let me finish up putting on this stick or the finish on the stick, and then we'll move on to the carving and see what that turns into. So far the stick I'm very excited about. So let's check out the next one. Oh, moving on to the skull. And the maple's coming out very nice. Certainly all that sanding is starting to pay off. Let's check out what these uh, what the butternut on the horns is going to be. A little bit darker, but not quite as dark as I thought. So we may have to do another treatment. Well, the outside's coming out dark. That's not bad. So what we'll do is we'll let everything dry, and then see. We may want to. Uh, tint one a little bit darker just to have a little contrast. 
so far that's actually quite nice. It is quite a bit darker, so that's good. So let me finalize everything, and we'll come right back. So as the oil is sinking in, you can see that the horns are a nice different color. A little bit darker, obviously here a little bit lighter, but that's just the nature of the wood on the side. I think you're seeing a nice contrast. At least I am. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. And I think that's, that's going to be a good contrast between the woods. It's interesting how the maple picked up a nice color. Let's see if you can focus in on that. Grains popping nicely. And the horns are looking pretty good. Not perfectly symmetrical, but I don't think they are in real life either. So I think that's looking out looking pretty good. So I think we've uh, come to a conclusion of this walking stick. Not quite sure what you want to call it, a little ram's head. Put, uh, finally decided on putting two coats of uh, polyurethane on the skull and the horns just to give it a little extra shine as you see there in the light. So what we have is the top of the stick. We uh, narrowed it down up top here, added a little dot pattern on each side, and of course attached it with a little metal rod. I showed you how to do that in the back. It's nice and stable, good for walking. Added a little lanyard, did a nice old braid pattern with uh, I had two cords of this green camouflage and then one of the cords was a black and it made a nice little pattern out of that. So that goes right where that nice little narrow spot is where the handle. So we have a hard sugar maple for the skull itself, butternut for the horns, it made that nice contrast. And the stick is a cedar. That came out really nice and it's super lightweight. I mean, this weighs nothing in total. So let me know uh, what you guys think of this. It's a little more complex of a, of a carving. Let me see if I can get that for you. There you go. But I really liked it. It's been sort of mulling in my head how to make these spirals. So I took a, a branch and just made the spiral because I like the way the um, the grain pattern is more or less continuous. There's no real weak spots in it. I uh, just carved out the middle of it and cut it in two as you saw at the beginning of the video. Well, I think that worked out pretty well. Please leave your uh, comments below. See what you uh, if you like this um, or if we go back to some ge geometric patterns like I've done in the past like the, uh, the basket weave or the uh, uh, the Celtic knot. Let me know which what you guys want to see and uh, hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun and uh, certainly a little bit different than we've normal than I've normally made and uh, I liked it. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe a little bit longer of a video but uh, hope you enjoyed it and please let me know what you think. Leave your comments below and uh, we'll be on to the next one. Take care guys. Thank <laughs> you.